Hello, it's Lena from Exact Mate Mastery here, and today I want to discuss resequencing line numbers. You'd be surprised how many people don't know how to do this, and it's one of my most often asked questions when people just shoot me an email real quick and, and uh, have a quick question. It's usually that, how to resequence your line numbers. So I wanted to go over this today. It also makes your estimate look a lot more professional when you're dealing with adjusters, and uh, makes it look like you know how to use the program and know what you're doing. So let's take a look here. I've got an estimate. I'm just going to pull that up. All right, so let's take a look at this estimate here. You can see my first folder. That looks all right. It's one through five. Looking pretty good. The next folder here, let's just take a look. Aha, uh -huh, starts with 17. Uh, that's going to look real funky. Let me show you what's going to happen here. If we just print preview this, you'll see we've got our one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes to light, light item 17. So that looks really funny. In fact, when I'm reviewing estimates all the time, um, even if it's from the insurance company, I find a lot of mistakes with the line items, and uh, I don't know why. It's just a thing uh, that I'm like, ha ha, you have your line items out of order. So that's, I don't know, it's just a pet peeve of mine. I like it all to be in a logical order. It, it also, if you're trying to discuss over the phone or even in email, hey, line item 17 is code. Well, if it's out of sequence, and it's you have to hunt and peck to find things. It just is really um, wastes your time, wastes the adjuster's time. You get the idea. So where we resequence is actually in our print window here. So you'll see resequence line numbers. This is the easiest and fastest way to do this. Not intuitive. It's not out here in your line item uh, list. It's not out in estimate items. It's in the print section. And that's why I get asked this, I think, all the time. It's because it's kind of hidden. Under print, it's resequence right here. So if I click resequence, It'll tell me it's been completed, and if we view that, you'll see my second folder. It should, uh, yeah, flow right into number five and then number six and so on. So that is how you use resequence. That's where to find it. If you need a sticky note to remind yourself to resequence every time, do it because it will make a difference out in the field when you're dealing with adjusters and dealing with those insurance companies. My name is Alina Wilson, and I'm with Xactimate Mastery. Go ahead and check out our blog section of our website at www.xmatemastery.com forward slash blog, and I'll put a link over here. And uh, subscribe to get Tuesday tech tips in your inbox every Tuesday. See you soon.